Welcome back, health enthusiasts. Are you a fan of that unmistakable aroma and flavor of garlic in your dishes? If yes then, ready to unlock the secrets of garlic's potential? In this eye-opening journey, we'll show you how people make mistakes while using garlic. It's good to eat garlic on a daily basis due to its many health benefits, but do you know that in order to avail all of its health benefits, you also have to avoid making some mistakes that most people usually do? So, get ready to elevate your culinary and wellness game as we delve into the world of garlic consumption. And stick around until the end, because the final revelation will undoubtedly leave you astonished. Let's dive in. Number 10. Are you choosing fresh garlic? Let's talk about the first and perhaps most crucial step in your garlic adventure, choosing the freshest bulbs. Imagine garlic bulbs as little flavor powerhouses waiting to enhance your dishes. Now, to get the best out of them, you want to make sure you're starting with the right ones. Look for bulbs that feel firm and solid when you hold them. If the skin is intact and unbroken, that's a good sign too. So, next time you're at the store, give those garlic bulbs a gentle squeeze and feel the magic of freshness in your hands. Number 9. Are you cooking garlic on the right way? If you're aiming to elevate your meals, garlic is a must-have addition. But if you're after the full range of garlic's health perks, here's a tip, avoid cooking it. You see the active player in garlic, Allison, doesn't fare well with heat. This special compound's magic happens when garlic is raw and uncooked. So, here's the trick, cook your dish first, then bring in the garlic. And if you're in a pinch, throw in some crushed garlic during the final 5 to 10 minutes of cooking. That way, you're still holding onto some of Allison's goodness. It's like a simple twist that makes all the difference. Number 8. Are you taking garlic in the form of supplements? People often take garlic supplements instead of eating fresh garlic, and that's exactly when they destroy most of its health benefits. To get the most out of garlic's healing properties, you must eat it raw and slightly crushed. Raw garlic has healing powers that are unmatched by any pill, powder, or capsule. Most probably, this is due to the fact that the phosphorus gas that gives garlic its smell goes away when garlic is dried, processed, or heated. As a result, the health benefits associated with it also go away. If you find it too hard to chew raw garlic, remind yourself that you are eating something that has been shown to work just as well as penicillin. Number 7. Are you taking care of your gut bacteria? Indulging in junk food, fast food, and processed toxic eats might overpower even the mightiest garlic. The reason? These types of foods are known to escalate oxidative damage in your body leaving your immune system vulnerable and weakened. Consequently, the door is wide open for bacterial infections to make their entrance. Your gut is your body's first line of defense against such invasions, and keeping it robust is key. Enter the realm of good bacteria, found aplenty in fermented foods like Greek yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, and kombucha. If you're aiming for an extra boost, consider introducing probiotics into your routine. Number 6. Do you eat garlic on an empty stomach? Several studies demonstrate the positive impact of garlic in reducing inflammation and containing beneficial antioxidants, especially beneficial for individuals struggling with specific intestinal worms and colon infections. Upon ingesting a garlic clove, a fascinating journey begins, as it retains its composition until it reaches the intestines. Here, the alkaline environment takes the reins breaking down the garlic and liberating allicin, its active ingredient. It's at this juncture that garlic's genuine might comes to the fore, revealing itself as a potent bactericide, virus annihilator, fungicide, and even a nemesis to worms. In fact, taking garlic on an empty stomach is hailed as the optimal approach. Number 5. Are you a fan of garlic tea? Garlic tea is made by putting garlic in boiling water and letting it steep for a while. The garlic is then strained out of the water. But as you know by now, allicin is badly affected by heat. Therefore, garlic tea probably won't be as good for your health as other more concentrated forms of garlic. Moreover, there is no significant evidence that garlic tea specifically can help prevent or treat any kind of illness. Many websites that say garlic tea is good for your health cite studies that usually refer to whole garlic, 
garlic oil, or garlic extracts. Additionally, no studies have looked into whether putting garlic, honey, and lemon in a drink could be good for your health. Most of the health claims about garlic tea that are made online are probably not true or overly exaggerated. Number 4. Do you use pre-cut garlic? When we crush garlic, the first thing we notice is the strong garlic smell. It is a sign that allicin is breaking down, which makes it much less useful. It also releases a lot of organic sulfur compounds and antioxidants that are good for heart health. Once the garlic is cut, it quickly loses its smell and taste. So, it's better that you use whole cloves, and fresh ones are better than dried ones. Before you use the garlic, make sure the bulbs are firm and most importantly, don't have any buds. Dry garlic should be kept in a cool, dark, dry, and well-ventilated place. However, those individuals who specifically want to consume garlic while focusing on health benefits may consume fresh garlic in crushed or mashed form. Doing so gives a better chance for sulfur compounds and antioxidants to absorb, rather than consuming a whole clove. These compounds facilitate blood flow both in the heart and the arteries by helping to reduce the levels of triglycerides, LDL, or bad cholesterol. Number 3. Are you consuming too much garlic? Let's talk about the possibility of going overboard with garlic, yes, even something as wonderful as garlic can have its limits. While garlic brings its aromatic charm and health-promoting qualities to the table, there's a line to be cautious of when it comes to consumption. Imagine this scenario, indulging in too much garlic can lead to a temporary drop in blood pressure, lasting for around 1-2 to two hours. This might not be the most desirable situation, especially if you're aiming for stable blood pressure levels. Furthermore, the sulfur compounds abundant in garlic can stir up some gastric unrest. In simpler terms, excessive garlic can lead to stomach irritation, with your stomach receiving an unexpected surge of blood at the expense of the rest of your body. But hold on, there's a happy middle ground. Consuming garlic in moderation seems to steer clear of these potential pitfalls. Experts generally agree that maintaining a balanced garlic intake helps avoid these shifts. Number 2. Garlic shows its effects in some foods, not all. Garlic isn't a culinary superhero that fits seamlessly into every dish. It tends to flex its flavorful muscles more prominently in certain culinary corners. Think about fish, savory soups, and the world of seafood, including the delicious realm of mussels marinara. Yet, don't jump to conclusions, not all recipes require a garlic infusion. Take sautéed dishes like mushrooms or the tender goodness of kidneys. These culinary wonders often hold their own without the need for a garlic boost. And when it's time for comforting stews or crafting pasta and rice sauces, garlic might take a back seat. If you can give up garlic oil and chili peppers in your spaghetti, even on a brave night, chew a few coffee beans or fresh mint leaves after dinner. Number 1. Are you using garlic with homeopathic drugs? If you're sick and taking homeopathic medicine to treat it, don't eat garlic. Some studies suggest that garlic and onion can stop your homeopathic medicines from working properly. This is because the medication is absorbed and begins its activity in the mouth. It is recommended that prior to taking the medication, the mouth should be free of any strong food articles, tastes, or odors, such as the ones coming after consuming garlic. As you embark on your garlic-filled culinary journey, don't forget to dodge these common pitfalls. Enjoy the goodness of garlic while avoiding these mistakes. If you found these tips helpful, make sure to give a like, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.